More than a thousand bikers rode to honor him as well. Juan Rodriguez shows us how the late World War II veteran changed a lot of their lives. Several of the bikers tell me that they are inspired by how simple Mr. Overton lived his life. Now, organizers say that what first started off as just several dozen bikes quickly turned into hundreds as they made their way to the funeral. We put a ride together for uh, Mr. Richard Overton. You know, the, uh, he was the oldest living World War II veteran. He lived an exemplary life to where he was just a regular guy working, earning a living, uh, building his own house, uh, living the American dream. The way he lived his life was the way everybody should live their life. Very, very simply and, and just blessed and happy to see everybody he ever met. Being able to ride in, in such a large format like this it is incredible to see everybody come out and, and pay tribute to this man. It's who the biker community is. You know, we're, we, support, we support our veterans, we support law enforcement, and it's great to see the different clubs and different people come out here all in, all in the same cause, you know, to show a little love and show some respect. Well, it justifies anybody that gives me any trouble about smoking a cigar, because the man smoked 12 cigars a day. If you can see this, I, I don't know. I would just like to thank him. I really do. And, and Lord above, he's, he's with him on that front porch up there. I'm sure they're building it for him. So he can sit there and, and meet everybody coming in and smoking a cigar.